sick persons and young children, and to show thy pity upon all prisoners and captives. We beseech thee to the rest, good Lord. That may please you to defend, provide for the fatherless children and widows, and all who are desolate and oppressed. We beseech thee to the rest, good Lord. That it may please you to have mercy upon all men. We beseech thee to the rest, good Lord. That it may please you to forgive our enemies, persecutors, and slanderers, and to turn their hearts. We beseech thee to the rest, good Lord. That it may please you to give and preserve to our use the kindly fruits of the earth, so that in due time we may enjoy them. We beseech thee to hear us, good Lord. That it may please thee to give us true repentance, to forgive us all our sins, negligences, and ignorances, and to endue us with the grace of thy Holy Spirit to amend our lives according to thy holy word. We beseech thee to hear us, good Lord. Son of God, we beseech thee to hear us. Son of God, we beseech thee to hear us. O Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, grant us thy peace. O Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. O Christ, hear us. O Christ, hear us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. We humbly beseech thee, O Father, mercifully to look upon our infirmities, and for the glory of thy name, turn from us all those evils we most justly have deserved. And grant that in all our troubles we may put our whole trust and confidence in thy mercy, and evermore serve thee in holiness and pureness of living to thy honor and glory, through our only mediator and advocate, Jesus Christ our Lord. thy tender compassion and mercy, O Lord, and thy loving kindness towards us, which have been ever of old, neither suffer our enemies to triumph against us. Deliver us, O God of Israel, out of our, all our misery and trouble. Unto thee, O Lord, do I lift up my soul. My God, in thee have I trusted. Let me not be confounded. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. All to remember thy tender compassion and mercy, O Lord, and thy loving kindness towards us, which have been ever of old, neither suffer our enemies to triumph against us. Deliver us, O God of Israel, out of all our misery and trouble. <clears throat> the Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of thy Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love thee, and worthily magnify thy holy name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Hear what our Lord Jesus Christ said, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment, and the second is like unto it, Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Lord, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. The Lord be with you. And with us, Spirit. Let us pray. Almighty God, who see us that we have no power of ourselves to help ourselves, keep us both outwardly in our bodies and inwardly in our souls, that we may be defended from all adversities which may happen to the body, and from all evil thoughts which may assault and hurt the soul. Through Jesus Christ, my Son, our Lord, who liveth and reigns with thee in the unity of the Holy Spirit ever, one God, world without end. Amen. Let's pray. Almighty and everlasting God, Leave us nothing that thou hast made, and dost forgive the sins of all those who are penitent. 
created making us new and contrite hearts, that we, worthily lamenting our sins and acknowledging our wretchedness, may obtain of thee, through God of all mercy, perfect remission and forgiveness, through Jesus Christ, thy Son, our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the unity of the Holy Spirit ever. Born God, world without end. Amen. Amen. Here begins the epistle in the fourth chapter of Blessed Apostle Paul's first letter to the Thessalonians. We beseech you, brethren, and exhort you by the Lord Jesus, that as ye have received of us, how ye are to walk and to please God, so you will abound more and more. For you know what commandments we gave you by the Lord Jesus. For this is the will of God, even your sanctification, that ye should abstain from fornication, that every one of you should know how to possess his vessel in sanctification and honor, not in the lust of concupiscence, even as the Gentiles, which know not God, that no man go beyond and defraud his brother in any matter, because that the Lord is the avenger of all such, as we also have forewarned you and, and testified for God hath not called us unto uncleanness, but unto holiness. He therefore that despiseth, despiseth not, not man, but God, who hath also given unto us his Holy Spirit. Here ended the epistle. Thank, Thank you, God. God. Sins, and I look for the resurrection of the dead, and the life of the world to come. 
Amen. Please be seated. Disciples, the bodyguards who feel 
They are commissioned to block the access of those whom they feel are not worthy to approach Christ. The disciples are the self-styled ecclesiastical dobermans, if you will. They protect the parameters and norms of the faith, yet they themselves are not exactly exemplars par excellence of the faith at this point. They have a long, long way to go. They are in need of much refinement, and Jesus rebukes them more than once, as in, O ye of little faith. On the other hand, we have this wretched Canaanite woman who approaches our Lord on her knees and cries, help me. She is the heroine. It is she who shows faith. It is she who understands who Jesus really is, and it is she who is a true follower, a true disciple of Christ. And it is her humility and her willingness to throw herself on the mercy of the court, no low contender, no contest, which is storm the heart of man. There is much beauty in our venerable prayer book. One of the most beautiful parts to me is the prayer of humble access, the prayer about the crumbs, as a little Methodist girl put it years ago. We say we are not worthy so much as to gather up the crumbs onto thy table. What worthiness do we have? What worthiness can we have? Not apart from Christ. We know that we can do no good apart from the grace of God. And so we bend the knee of our heart as well as the knee of our body when we come to the altar rail, as does this Canaanite woman in a sense today. We came to our Lord asking for healing for our dog. And she said, yes, Lord, even the dogs eat of the crumbs which fall from their master's table. However, we are not given crumbs, although theologically one crumb would suffice. We are given all of him, the living bread who came down from heaven. For you, and for me, for this Canaanite woman today, for those yet afar off, and for those yet to be born. Thanks be to God. So now, for God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, be ascribed to this most justly do <coughs> all my majesty, power, <coughs> glory, and dominion, henceforth and forevermore. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Yes. 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 My delight shall be in thy commandments, which I have loved exceedingly. My hands also will I lift up unto thy commandments, which I have loved.
Pray for them that this my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable unto God the Father Almighty. And the Lord receive the sacrifice of man. Amen. Let us pray for the whole state, Christ's church. <clears throat> Almighty and ever living God, while thy holy apostles taught us to make prayers and supplications and to give thanks for all men, we only beseech thee most mercifully to accept our oblations, all men oblations, and to receive these our prayers, which we offer unto thy divine majesty. Beseech thee to aspire continually the universal church in the spirit of truth, unity, and concord. And grant that all those who do confess thy holy name may agree in the truth of thy holy word and live in unity and godly love. We beseech thee also, so to direct and dispose the hearts of all Christian rulers, that they may truly and impartially administer justice to the punishment of wickedness and vice, and to the maintenance of thy true religion and virtue. Give grace, O Heavenly Father, to all bishops, priests, and deacons, that they may, both by their life and doctrine, set forth thy true and lively word, and rightly and duly administer thy holy sacraments. And to all thy people give thy heavenly grace, and especially to this congregation here present, that with meek heart and due reverence, they may hear and receive thy holy word, truly serving thee in holiness and righteousness all the days of their life. And he most humbly beseech thee of thy goodness, O Lord, to comfort and succor all those who in this transitory life are in trouble, sorrow, need, sickness, or any other adversity. We remember especially Shane, our primate, Patrick, our bishop, Joe, our president, Kim, our governor, Alex, Barry, Bay only, Casey, Charles, Craig, Dan, Daxton, Deborah, Eric, Faye, John, Karen, Kyle, Leslie, Logan, Louise, Lucas, Lucille, Mason, Megan, Melody, Merlin, Michelle, Miranda, Norma, Pat, Paul, Peter, Rachel, Rex, Rising Sun, Sandy, Sandy, Sarah, Sue, Tamara, Teresa, Thomas, Travis, Joaquin, our U.S. military, especially Edmund and Jason, all victims of terrorism, repression, starvation from around the world, an end of the Russian Ukrainian war, and all those who are in any way afflicted or distressed in mind by your state. <clears throat> and we also bless thy holy name for all thy servants departed this life in thy faith and fear, beseeching thee to grant them continual growth in thy love and service, and to give us grace unto follow their good examples that with them we may be partakers of thy heavenly kingdom. Grant this, O Father, for Jesus Christ's sake, our only mediator and advocate. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> Dearly beloved of the Lord, you might come to the Holy Communion of the body and blood of our Savior Christ, must consider how St. Paul exhorted all persons diligently to try and examine themselves before they presume to eat of that bread and drink of that cup. For as the benefit is great, if with a true penitent heart and lively faith we receive that holy sacrament, so is the danger great if we receive, receive the same unworthily. Judge therefore yourselves, brethren, that ye be not judged of the Lord. Repent you truly for your sins past, have a lively and steadfast faith in Christ our Savior, amend your lives, and be of perfect charity with all men. So shall ye be meet partakers of those holy mysteries. <clears throat> And above all things, you must give most humble and hearty thanks to God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, for the redemption of the world by our, the death and passion of our Savior Christ, both God and man, who did humble himself even to the death upon the cross, 